Elephants live in matriarch herds. This means that the females in the herd are the ones that lead and that have the positions of power. So it's no surprise when you learn that elephants are extremely protective, and particularly of their young calves. And I pity anyone who dares to threaten them. From an elephant fighting off a pack of lions, to an elephant fighting off a huge rhino, here are 15 times animals messed with the wrong elephant. Number 15. Elephants protect their babies from lion. The biggest mammal on Earth is the African elephant, and you can find most of them in the country of Botswana, where one of the most ruthless predators also lives, the mighty lion. Every year during the dry season, the elephants, who live in large groups, have to migrate to regions where there's still some water, and where, naturally, the lions also flock to in order to survive. And that makes for violent encounters, especially when the female elephants give birth to a baby. Then the lions will always try to attack the baby elephant, given that it's too young and inexperienced to defend itself, but it's big enough that it'll provide food for a long time for the lion. But the lion has to be very cautious, because even if the elephants are herbivores and they're not naturally aggressive, they're still big enough to impart serious damage to whatever poses a threat. Elephants are very gentle and intelligent creatures, but they have horns for a reason, and it's not just for looks. Look at this adult elephant protecting a newborn. They're ready to go against a huge lion if necessary. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. We found this picture on the internet of one single elephant stepping on a huge male lion. And next to him, you can see a newborn elephant calf. You know it was just born because its skin is pink. So maybe the lion wanted to make a snack out of the baby and the mother, just after childbirth, had to attack and overpower an adult lion. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Elephants Protect Babies From Wild Dogs as we mentioned before, elephants are extremely protective of their young. And during a photogenic safari, some tourists at the Sabi Sands in South Africa got a close look at to what extent that statement is true. A large herd of elephants and their young were crossing a dirt road when suddenly a pack of wild dogs appeared. Now, usually wild dogs know not to mess with elephants, but this time they were hungry and desperate times call for desperate measures. So they were on the lookout trying to spot a baby elephant that would be an easy prey for them. But the instant an adult elephant realized the situation they were in, it started sounding the alarm. which is a very loud noise that comes from their trunks. Immediately, all the other elephants create a circle and face down the hungry pack of wild dogs. They clearly were not happy at all about the dogs being in their space, especially since they had several calves in the herd. And you can see how quickly the predators back down. They know they're no match for the massive elephant. Number 13. Elephant Herd Saves Baby Elephant From Crocodile As far as strong and scary predators go, the crocodile certainly ranks extremely high. Crocodiles are so insanely well suited for hunting prey that their physique has hardly changed at all for centuries. But when it comes to a herd of elephants protecting their young, nothing will stop them. 
not even the mighty crocodile. When this herd of elephants had to cross a river to get to the other side and continue with their yearly migration, they quickly realized something deadly was hiding in the water. It was a huge, hungry crocodile. And the croc is smart. It knows it has no chance against a fully grown elephant, so it goes for the weakest link, the calf it will very fast realize just how big of a mistake that was. One female elephant rushes to the water and simply attacks the massive crocodile. The elephant's trying to step on it to injure it with its horns, anything to get it to back down. And it works. Number 12. Mother Elephant Defends Her Baby the hippopotamus is the deadliest animal for humans in the entire world, which means more people die from a hippo attack per year than from any other animal attack. That means that hippos are extremely aggressive. Don't be fooled by their teddy bear appearance. They are extremely aggressive and territorial, especially when they are in the water. They are massive, can run extremely fast, and are also insanely strong. And even if elephants are a lot bigger than hippos, hippos are a real threat to pretty much anything that crosses their path. So when this mother elephant with her little calf were trying to enjoy the waters of an oasis to clean themselves, she took it very seriously when suddenly the tiny round ears of a hippo appeared over the water. She immediately placed her large body between her infant and the hippo, and then gently but hastily guided her calf away from the hippo. Meanwhile, the hippo was looking aggressively at both of them. At one moment, there was even a burst of violence when the hippo got too close to him. Thankfully, there wasn't any attack that day, but it's a very good lesson for her calf. If you see a hippo, especially in the water, do not get too close. Number 11. Elephant tramples rhino and baby. Rhinoceros and elephants are eternal enemies. And it's not because they prey on each other, as both species are herbivores, which means they eat plants, but because they are both incredibly big animals and almost equally strong, but they both belong to two very different species of animals. so they present a mutual threat to each other. And because they share their natural habitat, they're both very aware of the existence of the other, simply because if something happens, they would both end up being seriously injured. In other words, they live in an eternal stalemate. Neither side wants to start an offense because they both could lose. And the result is that they simply dislike each other very deeply. And because of that, they do not like to share their sources of water. I mean, they really don't like sharing. Just look how this adult elephant just marches on, literally trying to step on a rhino with her small calf. All they were doing was trying to drink some water. The elephant's aim isn't to actually injure or kill, but to scare off the mother and her young one, as a slightly aggressive preventative method, you could say. Number 10. Elephants protect babies from fox and hyena. When a fully grown elephant stampedes towards you with its big ears flapping aggressively and with its huge and shiny horns rapidly advancing at you, it can be extremely scary. And if that ever happens, you would be wise to run very, very fast. Just like this female elephant marching towards a fox and a hyena to protect her young calf. Being a mother is not an easy task. But being in the wild and having so many predators trying to get a bite of your offspring must be very unnerving. And that's why this particular elephant has had enough. And she decides to scare the living hell out of the two predators hovering around their herd waiting for their chance to attack a calf. And you can't blame her. She knows that hyenas can coordinate complex attacks to separate elephant calves from the herd. They are very sneaky and effective. They will send one hyena to distract the bigger elephants while other ones approach from the back 
to snatch the babies. It's ruthless, except this elephant is 13 feet tall and weighs in at 4,000 pounds, and she isn't backing down. So, in other words, don't mess with a female elephant that is taking care of her calf, ever. Number 9. Elephant vs. Lion Lions are amazing predators. They eat hippos for breakfast. They are fast, agile, highly intelligent, and extremely strong. And they can also coordinate an attack all together at the same time, which makes them extremely effective hunters, and sometimes it's impossible to fight against them. Very few animals can go against a pride of lions and survive to tell the story. But that is not the case of the elephant. Although sometimes the lions manage to separate the calf from the group, the mother will always, no matter what, stay with her baby. Only sometimes the mother, after fighting with all her strength for hours, gets too tired to go on and the lions can finally claim their prey. But that is not always how a lion-elephant face-off ends. Female elephants are bigger than the males, and they are extremely protective, and that means they will do anything in the world to protect their offspring. And because of their enormous size and mega strength, they can put up a fair fight even against a large pride of lions. Just look at how this mother runs towards the lions, always keeping her baby close. Number 8. Waterhole Hyena vs. Elephant during drought season, waterholes are very scarce in Africa and also very much sought after. No animal can survive without water, and the elephants and hyenas are no exception. Many different species will find themselves in close quarters with other animals that they normally will consider adversaries, and things can heat up very quickly. And even if hyenas are minuscule compared to the elephant, they pose a very serious threat. mainly because they can coordinate an attack, and when you see one hyena, there's probably many more hiding in the tall grass. So when an elephant is peacefully drinking some water, and from the corner of its eyes spots a hyena, the absolute first thing it will do is to stop everything it is doing and try and scare off the hyena immediately. And for good reason. Hyenas are known to prey on elephant calves, and the elephants don't like it when someone messes with their young. And they can be quite intimidating, especially when they run, ears flapping in the wind. Number 7. Mother Elephant Protects Baby From Hyena Look at this mother elephant scaring off a hungry hyena in the African savanna. The mother seems to be alone, which is rare for an elephant. She probably got separated from her herd by the rest of the hyenas, and now she's all alone trying desperately to protect her small calf. She opens her ears big to appear bigger and more intimidating. That's something that elephants do a lot. And she also tries to make a noise as loud as possible to frighten the hyena away. That little calf is only three days old and it is extremely vulnerable. You can see how it tries very hard to keep up with its mother. He knows that its life depends on it. But instantly after she runs towards the hyena to warn it off, you can see how she runs back to her baby to make sure it's safe and sound. Such a gentle mama, but elephants can be quite scary when necessary. When the hyena is far enough, the mother then positions herself directly on top of her calf to make extra sure no harm will come its way. The calf is happily staying in between its mother's legs, using her almost like a protective fence. Number 6. Elephant vs. Tiger the Asian elephant is significantly smaller than its African cousin. On average, a fully grown Asian elephant can be 21 feet long, 9 feet tall, and they can weigh in at up to 15,000 pounds. So even if they are a smaller species of elephant, they are still quite a force to be reckoned with. The 
the Asian elephant's natural habitat overlaps with that of the tiger. And as you must already know, tigers are extremely good hunters. They are an apex predator and very few animals can survive a tiger attack. But when it comes to a female elephant and her baby, even the mighty tiger has to be very careful and proceed with the utmost caution. Even though the tiger knows it can get seriously hurt if it tried its luck with an elephant, an elephant calf is just too much of a juicy treat for the tiger to pass on. So the tiger has to measure the situation very carefully, because if one of those horns gets him, it could end up losing its life. And surely enough, after much consideration, the tiger begins the attack, only to shortly after run away in utter fear. One parent stays with the baby, while the other starts running straight towards the tiger. The strategy is too good, and the tiger decides it's not worth the risk this time. Number 5. Massive Elephant vs. Three Baby Hippos in this video, you can see a massive African elephant trying to get to a river, probably to drink some water and enjoy a nice bath. But he seems reticent, and why? Well, the answer will make you laugh. Because there are three teeny tiny baby hippos enjoying the water themselves. I cannot stress enough the difference in size here. I mean, the three baby hippos combined are not even a third of the size of that elephant. But the elephant knows that hippos are extremely territorial and that where there's a calf, the mother can't be that far away. And you do not want to piss off a hippo mother, especially by threatening her babies. So the gigantic elephant steps back cautiously and the hippos get a little bit cocky and they proceed to gain some ground on the elephant. They seem to be mocking him almost and the unfortunate elephant has no way of reaching the water. But with age comes wisdom, something the elephant has and those three little younglings lack. So the elephant waits patiently to see if, in fact, the mother is around. After realizing she probably isn't nearby, the elephant then launches forward and it even knocks over a tree in the process. And then, what do you know, the three little hippos flee, running back to the safety of the water. Number 4. Angry Elephant Chases Giraffe it's sometimes hard to assess the size of an animal from a video or a picture, especially African animals, which are usually extremely big. And that is the case of the giraffe. Trust me, they're bigger than what you imagine. They can grow up to over 20 feet tall, and despite their cute appearance, they can be quite vicious. And an animal of that size can surely inflict some serious damage. But what if a giraffe goes against the biggest animal on Earth, the African elephant? Giraffes are much taller, but elephants are much more sturdy and robust. Now, of course, because both animals share a natural habitat, are both mega big, and they sometimes have to share a water hole, well, they end up not liking each other. So look at how this huge elephant runs after a massive giraffe to warn it off. The giraffe's not doing anything wrong, it's not even attacking the babies, but the elephant's nervous just by looking at it, and it decides not today. Today, there will be no giraffes at the water hole. Number 3. Elephant Destroys a Lion it's not for nothing that lions are called the kings of the jungle. Although, if we want to be accurate, it would be more like the king of the savannah. And that is because they are the absolute apex predator there. They are huge, moody murder cats, perfectly designed to track down, attack, and kill its prey. They all hunt together, male and female lions, and they all have their own part to play in the synchronized attacks. So on top of being incredibly agile, fast, and strong, they are insanely well organized and their timing is usually perfect. Lions don't usually attack fully grown elephants unless they are very old or injured, and that's because they know that even as a group, the elephant is a worthy adversary and they can defend themselves very well. 
but when there are elephant calves, that is a different story. Then, the lions will try their luck and attempt to separate the calf from the herd. And if they manage to do so, the rest is easy, as calves have no way to defend themselves. But sometimes, the lions just choose the wrong calf, or more accurately, the wrong mother. Just look at this female elephant completely destroy that lion. You almost feel sad for the poor cat. Number 2. Elephants Charging at Painted Wolves For many different reasons, elephants are not a big fan of the painted wolf, and usually when they spot a painted wolf pack, they will try to scare them off, sometimes quite aggressively. So in other words, they are never very pleased to see them, even if the wolves don't really pose any kind of serious threat to the elephants. One possible theory is that they do so to teach the younger ones how to march towards another animal to scare it away. Because if you look closely, when the adult elephant runs fast towards the wolves, you can see two calves running not too far behind. But these calves are not newborns, they are of age of starting to learn some things. So it might be a case of schooling technique. If that's the case, it's a very smart way of going about it, since they get to charge towards an animal but without the danger of it fighting back. Kind of like the training wheels you had on your bike as a kid. But in any case, one thing is clear. Those elephants are going absolutely crazy on that pack of wolves. Number 1. Elephant Charging Towards Zebra at this point of the video, you might have guessed that elephants, although very kind to their own, can be a little temperamental with other animals. But the curious thing is that they can be moody and borderline aggressive with animals that pose absolutely and categorically no threat at all to them. Like the zebra, for example. The zebra is an herbivore, which means they eat plants. And most importantly, the zebra is tiny compared to the big and mighty elephant. So why is it that every time a herd of elephants encounters a herd of zebras, they tease and annoy them to scare them away? And if that doesn't work, they'll use violence and physical force until the zebras leave in fear. Just look at these two elephants not allowing the unfortunate zebras to get a drink of water. Unbelievable. Maybe they don't like sharing, or maybe they're so big they don't mind imposing their ways. Or most likely, elephants are reluctant to share their space. But one thing is for sure, it doesn't seem very fair to the zebras. As you can see, elephants are complex and very intelligent creatures. And apparently, there isn't an animal on this earth that the elephant can't overpower. Or is there? What do you think? Which animal would the elephant 100% lose to? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.